Greetings from the far off land of Inabar. I'm Sai, bring you another episode of Persona 4. Uh, unfortunately, since I had to do some recapping, I had to go back a few days. In the game, I mean. But, my plans are still the same. I see. We're always working hard. This doesn't concern me anymore. Yumi isn't here again. And now I'm caught up to where the social link is in my other game. In a hospital in front of Yumi's father's room, which is room 404, by the way. You hear Yumi's voice coming from inside. Yes, we did. Yes. Yeah, I guess. He's a great father. Yumi bites her lip. Thank you. You're welcome. It seems you were able to give Yumi some support. You feel like your relationship with Yumi has yet deepened. Rank up! Okay, I'm a little bit behind, I guess. Because I remember some other event happening. Alright. I'll be heading back then. Bye then. Yumi walked off, looking helpless. You went home. It is now the evening. Is Dojima here? Yes. Oh, welcome home, big bro. I might consider making something. Yes, I did. I am. A big tip. Kaching. That puts me up to almost where my other game is. No, yes, I did get all my money back. What should I do? It's Tuesday. Nothing really much to do. Wow, that sounded kind of weak. Anyway, morning. Yes, it is. Do you look forward to it? Ah, oh, that's true. I understand. It's now the morning. Ah. Uh. Yes. Then why is October the 10th month? No idea. You listen to the lecture intently. Your academics have not increased. It's kind of maxed out, if anybody's wondering. It's now lunch.
wants to hang out with Vincent. Yes, I am. I'm assuming somebody else wants... No, that's it. It's now after school. You know, I should actually play my practice file soon. Because it's going to eventually end up behind you. this. All right. Actually, both of them... Oh, never mind. Yasugami High Field! You gave it all at soccer practice. Diligence increase. I can still do it. That's the spirit. Dice Gaze, coaching with passion. Okay, Atlas Towel. I never noticed that before. <laughs> Dice Gaze Dice Ga suddenly appears pensive. Yeah. I don't know why I was able to say that sentence. Yeah. Exactly. This is for you. Thank you. Attain spike brush. Right. All right, let's go home. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Shenzhou's Shopping District, Chinese Diner, Aya. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah, well, I quit pretending. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, were you? Wh what? Yeah. What? No, I feel fine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you spent quality time with Daisuke and Ku. Thanks, man. You're welcome. <laughs> Feel deep bond has formed between you, Ko, and Daisuke. Max out. I was gonna throw in that little note I did last time, but I decided not to. These gentlemen bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon the ability to create the ultimate form of the strength arcana. Vincent de Burr has forged a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering their strength, Social Link, you can have fuse the one who demands surrender.
Sounds good. Wait a minute. Really? Yes, you. Thanks. You take a moment to enjoy the good times with your friends, with whom you have formed a tight bond. It's now the evening. It's a Wednesday, isn't it? Oh, welcome home, big bro. Brown spherical object in the depths of the fridge. You think it used to be a pear? Eat it? Eh, what's there to lose? It has no taste. Not bad at all. Your courage is greatly increased. I'm very daring as it is. However, you don't feel well. You decided to go to bed early today. Not like there was anything to do. Yo! Yo. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm looking forward to it, though. There's some commotion in front of the board. I wonder what's going on. There, there seems to be a headline written in large letters on the bulletin board. The Miss Yasugami High Pageant. It seems to be announcing a beauty pageant that will take place during the culture festival. Ugh, on top of planning it, Kashiwagi's gonna be in it? Oh, this is gonna be interesting. So that's why she agreed to plan this event. The name, Korhiko Kashiwagi, is indeed on the entry list. Norhiko. I'm going to ignore that. Anyway, the other contestants are... You see a list of familiar names. Yukiko Magi, Chie Sun... I'm just going to say Chie. Riz Kujikawa, Nato Shiragane, Hanako... It's a surprising lineup. One, two... Wow, there's a lot of sign-ups here. I'm surprised so many people took an interest. Interest. Whoa, Risei Kujikawa? Seriously? Oh man, trust a celebrity to kill the fun of it all. I bet she'll draw a huge crowd. Wow, Yukiko-san's finally entering. If this was any other year, she'd win for sure. Now she's up against Risette. It's gonna be a culture festival to remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that. I'm huh? pretty sure of that too. Is that centering? She's gonna take part in something like this? Maybe I better think more seriously about saving a seat. Look, Chie's entering too. She's actually pretty close to my type. Wow. Actually, I hear she has a lot of secret admirers. Naoto's that boyish, girlish, whatever, right? You know, she's, uh, pretty cute. <sighs> You're weird. Dude, you sound like a pervo when you laugh like that. But, to be honest, I think she's cute too. <laughs> Weirdos. It seems that each girl already has some fans. And then Yosuke Yo. appeared. Yo. Didn't I talk to you just a few minutes ago? Are you free for lunch? I don't know why, but Chie asked us to come to the roof. I wonder. She looked pretty serious. I wonder I if mean, something's happened. I mean, what about? Oh, I kind of cut Yosuke oh, off there. Oh, and Kanji's coming too. You were called out to the rooftop during lunch. Did something happen? Obviously something happened. A damn 
some good explanation for this. For what? The beauty pageant! You wrote down our names without telling us, didn't you? N no, it wasn't me. Why do you automatically blame me? I mean, if you don't want to do it, you just say no, right? Like it was just a joke. You're making it obvious it was you, Yosuke. We wouldn't be so pissed if we could do that. With Kashiwagi planning this year's event, even those who got entered by other people can't back out. Seriously? Must have been something in the fine print I overlooked. And you just... Yeah, he made it too obvious. Oh, crap! Hey, do you want us to take part in the beauty pageant? Well, yeah. I mean, you guys know how popular Yukiko is here. And on top of that, we have an idol and a detective prince. Yosuke has a point. What's the point of having a beauty pageant if all these incredible heroines aren't going to take part? So where do I fit in? Oh, you did something bad there, Yosuke. <gasps> well, excuse me for not fitting in. Punch him! Punch him! Hey, you want them to be in it too, don't you, Kanji? Yeah, Kanji. Huh? I ain't interested in that stuff. Naoto-kun, Kanji-kun says that he really wants you to be in it. What? Well, I, I, I didn't say nothing. Your mind says it. What about you? You want them to be in it, right? Why not? Enter the pageant, damn it! You stress about how much you want them to enter the beauty pageant. Your expression has significantly increased. What? Seriously? Oh, I picked the medium option last time. Hey, you guys are inching onto the bandwagon with Yosuke, aren't you? Nope. So long as there are people looking forward to seeing me, I might as well put on a show for them. Of course, there's no need to involve my agency in this. Which is a plus for you. That's right! That's the way to go! Teddy's looking forward to it too. It was his idea. Actually, I think he was more excited than anyone. It was him who was pushing me to sign you all up. See? Ugh, so Ted's behind this too. <sighs> We're in an awkward position. If we can't refuse, I suppose there's no sense in arguing the point. Good point. But it seems ill-fitting for someone like me to get up on stage. I wonder if there's any way I could take it up with the school authorities. I doubt you'll get far with that. Uh, I don't think it's a problem at all. I mean, just do it, you know? Seriously. Dude, looks like your blood's boiling even more than usual. <laughs> Silly Kanji, just tell her you want to see her on the stage. So, is it a deal? The four of us will be in the beauty pageant? What are you saying? Um, I beg you, please be in it. You don't sound serious. If you do, my, uh, doubts will finally be cleared. Come on, make me a man! And if you put it that way, it just sounds weird. Doubts? What are you talking about? Don't worry about it, Nato. Look, just... It, damn it! I mean, you're an ace detective, aren't you? What does that have to do be with being a detective? What does that have to do with a beauty pageant? That too. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kanji's acting weird. It is now after school. The preparations for the cultural festival in two days are going well. We're back. Oh, I'm so tired. 
Where'd you guys go? To Juness. Over to Juness. We had to go get some paint and cloth. Oh, for the decorations. Thank you. Did you have them write you an invoice? Yeah, I think they understood what it was for, so they wrote it without us having to ask. There's some things I want to go over about the day of the event. Okay. Is this about the group day cafe? Obviously. Yes, since Yosuke's leading the executive committee. Ha! Wait, what? It was your proposal, right? Are you serious? He is. Well, all you have to do is the reception. After people sign in, have a few guys and girls sit facing each other at a table. Conduct the short session first where they ask each other questions. After about half an hour of that, it'll be confession time. Get them to select the number of the person they like. If the other person accepts, that makes them a couple. Hey, Yosuke, you listening? Obviously not. He's spacing out. I think I'm spacing out too. I guess it's time to end this before I totally lose control of my mind. Wow. Already am. Anyway, tune in again for more Persona 4.